I am Dave Yo. I'm the president of a company called Dave Yo Associates. We are the oldest, largest, and the most effective consulting group that works with small business. You see, a lead is always measured some way. In terms of the salesperson, two dictums. Uh, the, the leads are not good enough, not qualified enough, and our prices should be lower. They two things go together. That's the way salespeople think. Now, irrespective of that, going back to the earlier thing I said about selling, you're talking about value. How do you imply the value of getting back in touch? What's in it for them? Not this, but you say free estimates. That's stupid. How many people charge for estimates? And well, we're the greatest, we're the smartest, we're the oldest, whatever that might be, that's about you, that's not about them. So pontificate their needs, talk to people about needs. In this growing economy right now, the best bang for the buck is a home improvement. Why? The value of the house has increased. And if the people are staying in that house, then their appraisal has increased. And then that means that they're gonna pay more tax, more insurance, even if they have a state mortgage. So what you have to do is reflect in your message all the time, what is best for that individual. Now, we went through the process, you went into the home, you tried to sell them and you didn't, or you went to the home and they weren't there. So if the rest of the process is correct, if you've sold the value of the visit, who failed? Was it the customer? No, 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 they're innocent victims. Was it the person to take the information? Well, they're conspirators. The person who you gave the lead to is also a conspirator we call a salesperson. And they go with an adequate thought process about the value of these people's time. So when this thing is set up correctly and it doesn't work, they get back to those people. And there should be contact information. And that we should get in touch with everyone that we didn't sell. And for a lot of reasons, make sure the salesperson did what he was told to do or she was told to do, and did they do it effectively? Did they answer the question? Did they, in the time allocated to them for this presentation, answer, fulfill the needs, not the wants, for the needs of the prospect? And that calls for a, a close look at what you're saying and doing in the house, and often uh, the salesperson is trained to say one thing and does another thing. And they have to get away from what we call the I, we, me. I, we, me form of saying, I do this, we do this, we're so wonderful, we're so great, we're so gentle. And we have to find more of the second party and the third party in there. You, your, yours. What are your needs? What would you like to see happen? Now, don't tell me that they don't have the time because the first thing you do when you ever get to fulfill an obligation on a lead is investigate the project. Not what you know about it. What do you think you know about it? Why are they calling you? Why are they allowing you into their home? And they're giving you a gift of their time. What can you say to them that fulfills, that rewards them for giving you the gift of your time? Did I make that too elaborate? Or should I answer by saying this? Everything requires a follow-up. You spend a lot of money marketing. You bring in leads. Now, what do you do with the leads after you have them? How are you assured that you've got an ROI, a return on the investment they'd have there? And today is different than it was six months ago and a lot different than it was 18 months ago. Right now, marketing is expensive, not unnecessary. It is expensive and requires re-evaluation of all its components. How many leads did you take in? Who did you give them to them? How did they fulfill them? They're called analytics. And analytics are not a matter of accounting, they're a matter of record keeping. And most people have to get in tune again because the paradigm is shifting. Everybody is saying the same thing. You're saying, come see us, we're good people. And if you buy from us here, we'll give you cash free for two years or four years, whatever it might be. But everybody's saying the same thing. Now you're gonna have an opportunity to shine, be in front of those people. And if you shine, you don't make it, find out why you didn't make it and you'll recover. And there are firms, we have uh, one of our clients, that's their whole business. 
revitalizing old unused leads, valuable asset. Like in all sections of your business, find a pro who does what you'd like to be done and has done it repeatedly from others, has learned and grown from his association with us. That's the reason you go to a company like Modernox. What they do, they supply what I call in learning the missing piece. If you can define what you want to do, they have enough history, background to provide what you need to have people do.